Hiya there and welcome to Trains, Planes and Automobiles. Right, today I'll be talking about the 1962 Falster mine layer of the Danish Navy. Falster, leader of a class of four dedicated mine layers constructed for the Danish Navy which entered service from 1963. Throughout the Cold War, Denmark had a maritime responsibility quite inconsistent with her position in world affairs. Due to her responsibilities for the waters surrounding two strategically placed overseas territories, Greenland and the Faroe Islands, which put her squarely in the path of the Soviet Union's northern fleet, would need to take from its Arctic bases. Mining these waters was therefore of primary importance, and from 1954 the Royal Danish Navy began to operate purpose-built mine layers in greater numbers than most of its allies. The Folsters were the third of four classes constructed to a standard NATO design. A single unit, the Nusret, was constructed for the Tur Turkish Navy and the first pair were ordered in 1960. Folster, or also known as the N80, was built by Nakskov Verfit, I think that says, begun in April 1962. She was launched on the 19th of September that year and entered service on the 7th of November 1963. She was refitted in the 1980s with a reduced battery of new and improved 76mm 3 inch AA guns. The pair on the quarter deck were deleted to be replaced by a helicopter platform and more up to date electronics included the Inmarsat. However, a more extensive modernisation programme which would have seen her 20mm cannons replaced by Stinger SAMs and her CWS Stroke 2 and NWS Stroke 2 radars replaced by Sea Giraffe, and which would have allowed her to remain in service until around 2010. Modifications which were in fact made to two of the class, the Fuen and the Moen, was put in absence. The Falsters were far and away the biggest of the Danish Navy's mine layers, intended for deep sea service in the Greenland stroke Iceland UK gap. The later Lindemans were little more than a quarter of their displacements. Their responsibility was to install and man maintain commanded detonated minefields in coastal waters. Two ships of the class, the Moen and the Stelland, I think that says, were to do double a duty, the former as a depot ship for submarines and fast attack craft, the latter as a training ship for midshipmen, with extra accommodation and a containerized classroom on the quarter deck. The Falster, she was a mine layer, she had a two shaft, a GM16 a stroke 56703, diesels producing a 4000 bhp. She had a length of 77 metres and a beam of 12.5 metres. She had a weight of 1800 tonnes of standard or 1900 tonnes of fully loaded. She had a staff of 120 and a speed of 17 knots. So that was a few facts, nice pictures and history of the Swedish, sorry, the Danish Navy Falster ship. Thanks for watching and seeing the pictures. Please like, comment, subscribe. Bye bye.